For the thrust shown below, cross-sectional areas of so bottom cord members are 625 mm square, while for all other members, 937.5 mm square. Use modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals for all members. By virtual work method, determine the horizontal deflection at joint F and letter B, the relative deflection between D and F. So we have the dimensions of the thrust. The slope of the inclined members would still be 3 horizontal, 4 vertical, 6 divided by 1.5, 4.5 divided by 1.5 is 3, 6 divided by 1.5 is 4, so 3 horizontal, 4 vertical, 5 hypotenuse. And you have to solve for the reaction, summation versus x. So moment about d equals 0, ay equals ay times 13.5 plus 90 times 6, then minus 100 times 4.5 minus 80 times 9. So ay equals 140 over 3 kilonewtons. So reactions at a, 90 to the left and 140 over 3 upwards. Summation versus y, you're going to verify that. That's uh, course in statics. This is structural theory, so you should proceed to higher level. I don't need to present the solution for the reactions and forces anymore because that's statics course. This is structural theory. So to shorten the solution and to shorten the video, I'll just leave the forces for you to verify. You post the video whenever you want to verify the forces. So anyway, I give you the instruction that at A, you sum up forces vertical. You assume that the forces are always tension away from the joint. Equal zero, you'll get negative 175 over 3. Then summation forces X to solve for stress in AB, you'll get 125. You proceed to joint F, summation forces X equals 0. You'll get negative 125 for EF. Then summation forces Y equals 0. You'll get 140 over 3. Then you proceed to joint B, summation forces Y equals 0. You'll get the force of member BE, 125 over 3. Then summation forces X, you'll get the force in member BC, 100. Then, of course, at C, Summation forces Y, this is also 100, tension, and summation forces X, obviously, even if you do not sum up forces X, it's very obvious. This is also 100, and this is 100. Then, at joint D, summation forces Y equals 0, you'll get the force in member DE, negative 500 over 3. Since the stress of this member is already found, you just check if summation forces X is really 0 at joint D. Then finally, you check joint E if it is in equilibrium summation forces X. Verify that summation forces X is 0. And verify also that summation forces Y is 0. If, if it is really true, then all these forces are correct. Of course, these forces are correct. Then if your answer is wrong, then you have to rethink because I already verified these forces. Then for the second part, we apply a unit rightward load at F for calculations of virtual forces. So definitely the horizontal reaction at A is also one. The vertical reaction would be downward. It is, it is one times six divided by 13.5. So it's downward here. It's four over nine. So therefore this is four over nine summation forces Y upward. For equilibrium. Then you proceed to joint A again, summation forces Y equals 0. Remember the slope 3 horizontal 4, 5 hypotenuse equals 0. You'll get the virtual force of member AF. It is 5 over 9. Then summation forces X, virtual force of AB, 2 thirds. Then you proceed to F, summation forces X, horizontal 0. You'll get negative 2 thirds. Then summation forces Y at joint F you'll get a negative 4 over 9. Then you proceed to joint B, summation forces Y to 
verify that member BE is the virtual force of member BE is 5 over 9. Then summation forces X to solve for the force in member BC, one third. So this is also one third, and this is zero. Obviously, summation forces Y at joint C, so that's a zero force member. So the number of members to be tabulated will reduce to, there are nine members here, so it will reduce to just eight. Then at joint D, summation forces Y equals zero, you'll get negative five over nine. Then you check if summation forces X at joint D is really zero to validate these virtual forces. Then there is E left. That joint should be checked for equilibrium. Summation forces X if it is zero and summation forces Y if it is also zero. So if it is really zero, do not directly equate it to zero. You have to verify if summation forces X is really zero because all these forces are have been found already then summation versus y if it is also zero so let's now tabulate the result so we have member we have s in kilonewtons u because this is virtual work length in meters then the product sul so same because bottom chord members have the same area of 6 to 5, uh, all other members colored orange, uh, 937.5 mm square. So we begin with member AF, negative 175 over 3. The U is 5 over 9. The length is square root of 4.5 square plus 6 square is 7.5 for inclined members. Then the product SUL would be negative. 243.056 next AB two thirds uh, one to five U is two thirds length is four point five and the product blue three seventy five next is member EF uh, negative one two five U is negative two thirds length is four point five the product is 375, but colored orange. Then, member BF, 140 over 3, S, U, negative 4 over 9. The length is 6. The product is negative 124.444. Next is member uh, BE, 125 over 3, U is 5 over 9. Length is 7.5. The product is 173.611. Next is BC. 100. U is one third. Length is 4.5. Product is 150. Next is CD. S is 100. U is one third. Length 4.5. Product 150. Finally, DE excluding CE because it is zero so the product would also be zero negative 500 over 3 negative 5 over 9 length 7.5 so the product SUL is 694.444 therefore the horizontal this deflection at F is equal to the sum of this 1000 square over 200,000 quantity the sum of these blue colored entries is 675, the area is 625 mm square, and the sum of these orange color, colored entries is positive 875.555, the area is 937.5. So in mm, the horizontal deflection at F is 10.07 mm, and since it is in the direction of the unit virtual load, so it's also in the direction of the unit virtual load. So rightward. For the relative displacement or deflection between D and F, we apply unit load, virtual load, through D and F. This time, let's assume it's away.
So let's have the results, actual forces or stresses due to the actual loads. And this time, let's apply unit virtual load through D and F. But let's assume they are moving away, as shown. So summation forces, because 1 and 1 are in equilibrium, then the reaction here would be 0. Summation forces x, 0. So this for unit virtual forces are in equilibrium, so they cannot affect the reactions. Then vertical reaction would also be 0. Same is true here. So this the members which are which have values would be members attached to not all, no? of course, because if you sum up forces y, the virtual force of AF would be zero definitely as well as for AB. So only when the members will have a force, especially at the joints. So the slope is this horizontal distance between C, D and F is 9. The vertical distance is 6. So 9 common denominator is 3. So 9 over 3 is, so that's why you have 3 horizontal. 6 divided by 3 is 2 vertical. So 3 horizontal, 2 vertical, square root of 13. That's the slope of this imaginary line through D and F. So we begin at joint, we begin getting the zero force members, of course, this is zero, and CE is also zero. So at joint F, summation forces horizontal equals zero, so you have UEF equals the horizontal component of 1, which is 1 times 3 over square root of 13. That's, that's why UEF is 3 over square root of 13. Then summation forces y equals 0 at f. Uh, UBF downward equals the vertical component of 1, which is 1 times 2 over square root of 13. So this is 2 over square root of 13. And you proceed to joint B, summation forces y, you'll get... Uh, BE, negative 0.69338. Then summation forces X, you'll get BC, 0.41603. Then this is also 0.41603, summation forces X at joint C, but this is zero, definitely summation forces Y. Then you proceed to joint D, summation forces Y, to get DE, positive 0.69338. Then check summation forces x because the virtual forces have been found if it is 0. So summation forces x, 1 times 3 over square root of 13 minus 0 0.41603 minus 0 0.69338 times 3 over 5 because the slope of this member is 3 fifths. Then if it is 0, that means there's a guarantee that all these stresses virtual forces are correct, but that will be ultimately checked or verified if summation forces X at joint E is really zero and summation forces Y at joint E is also zero. So we, I already verified that forces, virtual forces. So let's now tabulate. So we have member, the number of members from 9 will reduce to 6 because there are 3 zero force members here. So 9 minus 3 is 6. So only 6 members will be tabulated here. We'll have contribution to the relative displacement between D and F. Then S in kilonewtons, U, the length in meters, then the product in kilonewton meter, SUL. So we begin with member BF. 140 over 3, 2 over square root of 13, the length is 6, then the product is 155.316. Then member EF, negative 125, 3 over square root of 13, the length is 4.5, the product is negative 468.028. Then 
BE, 125 over 3, negative 0.69338. U, then length 7.5, product negative 216.681, then BC 100, point four one six zero three U, the length 4.5, the product 187.214, then CD, same 100.41603, 4.5 the length then product 187.214 and finally DE DE is negative 500 over 3 for S U is 0 0.69338 and the length is 7.5 the product is negative 866.725 so the relative displacement between D and F therefore is the sum of this 1,000 square factor over 200,000 times the quantity, the sum of this blue colored entries divided by area 625 plus the sum of this orange colored entries negative 1396.118 and the area is 937.5. So calculating, it is negative 4.451 mm. Since it is negative, meaning our assumption that D and F will move away from the original position is wrong, so they are moving inward. They are coming closer. So 4.451 and closer as shown. So that should be the final answer.